Hello everyone, welcome to Informatica Global Customer Support. My name is Rahul Kumar Tiwari and today as part of this video KB we would be looking at Supplier 360 Overview. So before we begin, this would be first of two part series of videos on Supplier 360. As the first part we will be looking at the overview or as in what Supplier 360 is. In the second part we will be seeing how to install Supplier 360. Starting with the introduction. So Supplier 360 is an application developed by Informatica very similar to Product 360 or Customer 360 which is meant for managing and capturing suppliers data. So Supplier 360 provides clean, consistent and connected information about suppliers. Now business managers use this master supplier data to make better business decisions about suppliers and to implement process that can save the organization money. So before proceeding any further, let's uh, go through a use case and understand what supplier 360 and how it helps in enhancing businesses so a global automobile manufacturer experienced multiple issues with the supply chain the management team has poor insight into everything from the total spend with a supplier to a supplier performance total spend is virtually impossible to access the manufacturer has hundreds of suppliers and the supply information is dispersed across multiple system in different geographical areas the same supplier can be in the system under slightly different supplier names. The manufacturer holds multiple locally negotiated contracts with the supplier. Without a complete picture, the contract term do not reflect the total spend with the supplier. The management team does not have insight into supplier overall performance such as the percentage of orders delivered on time over the last year. Therefore, managers do not take action to resolve performance issues. Later or incomplete shipments of parts continuously affect the supply chain. In some cases, managers have not lined up alternative suppliers for parts. So when parts are not available for one supplier, the manufacturing line falters. Finally, the organization is acquiring another company later in the year. The management team wants a solution in place before the acquisition completes. Now, this problem statement is more or less very familiar to every business where data is scattered across multiple platforms and where who do not have full or 360 view of their data. Now, to provide solution on this particular use case, Informatica came up with something called a Supplier 360. Now, the IT department implements Supplier 360. An administrator loads data from source system into Supplier 360, which includes a centralized database for master supplier profiles. Within the centralized database, the application identifies potential duplicate suppliers. This roots out the duplicacy in data. Secondly, data stewards review potential duplicate suppliers and merge the supplier profiles as appropriate. Data stewards edit supplier profiles and set up supplier relationship by identifying parent companies and their subsidiaries. Whenever data steward modifies a record that, that is part of a supplier profile, the data steward sends the record for review through an online business pro process. So basically, uh, the data stewards have the capability of managing the supplier data and also uh, the changes that are done to a supplier data goes through a business approval process. With the reviewed and approved master data in place, the data stewards send invitation to all qualified suppliers to register on the supplier portal. Register qualified suppliers can update their information, add product catalogs and monitor their performance. Other suppliers use the supplier portal to apply to become a supplier to the organization. Online application forms go through an online onboarding and qualification process. So basically, with the supplier portals that comes with Supplier 360 model, the, the, even the suppliers have the feasibility to register themselves in the supplier portal. Managers participate in review of supplier application and monitor supplier performance and compliance. When business managers identify compliance and performance issues, they create alerts to notify suppliers to this of the issues. Managers edit supply profiles and initiate a change approval review for the data workspace. Managers identify alternative suppliers for all key parts and invite the suppliers to complete an online application through the supplier port. So basically, managers have the better view of how the performance of the suppliers are and if necessary, they can take appropriate actions when they are not achieving the required level of service from these suppliers. Post implementing Supplier 360 uh, uh, in this organization, the organization retrieved these key points as the valuable results. First, they saved on purchase prices by negotiating with supplier to provide single favorable contract for all locals including volume discounts and early 
payment discounts because earlier as per different geographical locations the supplier were having different con contracts in terms with the organization reduced cost delays in the supply chain by using alternative suppliers for parts and by monitoring and correcting supplier performance naturally when we have a complete look at the data and we see that there is going to be a chokehold or a bottleneck in the supply chain we could quickly arrange for a different supply as a backup plan reduced as reduced administrative costs by implementing a self service approach for new suppliers to apply online and for existing suppliers to maintain their supply data online so supplier 360 comes with a supplier portal using which the new suppliers can apply and using the same platform the suppliers can you know update and manage their data which naturally will go through a business review process and only in once they are approved the changes would be reflected in the core repository reduce administrative costs by using an automated business process for the qualification workflow the same thing which we were discussing earlier reduce the cost of integrating supplier data after the acquisition by adding the acquired system as a source system to the mdm hub now let's look at the architecture but before looking at the architecture let's understand what are the different components in supplier 360 is so supplier 360 is an application which is de designed for informatica mdm business users can connect to master supply data through a business friendly user interface which displays an enterprise level dashboard as well as 360 degree suppliers view that are customized for different users so basically supplier 360 has three major component one is supplier relationship management the other is supplier portal and third is product information management integration now let's look at the architecture and understand what these are so this is my if you look at this layer so we have the external sources or the internal sources from where we onboard data we can do it via an etl tool informatica power center then going by the traditional way of mdm this data is onboarded into informatica mdm but with supplier 360 which comes with it own schema and some sample data if you want to use it more or less it's the same functionality but with some added components first is you have the as part of supplier relationship management you have informatica mdm hub where your data would be stored you have active was which will used as part of your workflow management then you also have the feasibility of product management product information management that is pim or P360 integration with S360. You know when PIM is integrated with S360, you'll be able to see the product supplied by those suppliers and what what are the different uh, dimensions of that. So supplier 360 comprises your hub, your PIM, active was, the IDD for the business user to see the supplier information. Now supplier portal, on the other hand, is a business friendly. easy to use interface where supplier can register themselves or the business users can uh, view the supplier's information so this is what uh, it is mentioned as part of this slide this for supplier 360 add features to informatica mdm environment such as database schema for supply data business process for supply management and an interface that business users use to access supply data so basically we are talking about supply portal as part of the last line supplier relationship management includes approval of supplier supplier profile management and assessment of supplier performance so basically uh, this section which is we are calling a supplier relationship management here we will be able to create a supplier uh, approve this supplier and we can access the performance of the supplier but the supplier portal over here is something which can suppliers can use to re request or to you know create an entry for themselves which then will go for uh, the approval process via the scheduled workflows The supplier portal is a web application that you implement in a public facing website. Supplier uses the supplier portal to initiate and maintain a supplier relationship with the organization. The supplier portal requires the user login. Naturally, the MDM server manages the user authentication through its security access manager. Now, PIM integration is something which is very optional. You can or cannot integrate PIM with your supplier 360, but if you want to view the products supplied by the suppliers, you have to implement PIM. now you can use p360 or you can use any uh, other third party uh, pim system for using any third party pim system you have you need to contact to gcs so that the mdm pim adapter needs to be um, configured as per your third party application that you're using so once your s360 is configured and uh, you have everything in workplace this is how your s360 user 
इंटरफेस पर लिख रहा है सो वन ए यूजर लॉग्स इन और मैनेजर लॉग्स इन ही विल बी एबल टू व्यू द टास्क ही विल बी एबल टू यू द डिफरेंट चार्ट्स दैट आर कॉन्फिगर्ड ही कैन एक्सेस सप्लायर डेटा ही कैन अप्रूव द डिफरेंट रिक्वेस्ट दैट हैव कम फ्रॉम सप्लायर पोर्टल so this was a quick overview of what supplier 360 is uh, how does it look like so basically summing up we have as part of supplier 360 we have primary three things that is supplier relationship management which is used to create approved suppliers supplier portals which is an easy to use interface used by suppliers to register themselves and third is pim integration that is uh, if you want to see the product information along with supplier on the supplier 360 dashboard you can use that as part of the next video we will be looking at how to install supplier 360 so here's a reference link you can navigate to docs.informatica.com use mdms product and mdm supplier 360 as sub product and then choose the version for here i'm referencing 10.4 hf1 which is the latest version of level and can go through the different guides to understand more on this we would love to feel your feedback below the channels where you can provide them Thank you.